All right, up next from Hasbro, it's uh, Marvel's Scarlet Spider-Man. <sighs> all right, all right, let's see what the back of the box tell us. Side of the box, it kind of looks like the Romita Spider-Man. Okay, fine. Okay, that makes no sense, but okay, we'll go with that. Okay, once again, looks like the Romita Spider-Man. Okay, makes no sense. Here we go. All right, the back of the box, another one of those uh, multi-language boxes. All right. Marvel Scarlet Spider cloned to destroy Peter Parker, Ben Riley Chase instead to fight alongside Spider-Man. I said Chase chose instead to fight alongside Spidey-Man. Okay, let's crack this thing open. Yeah, I sort of like just pulled out the box and I really cracked it open. But uh, let's just show you what it comes with. Well, we've seen these uh, accessories before. For the most part, this is a complete repaint. Um, new sculpted upper torso, gauntlet, gauntlet, belt, and these things for his legs, whatever the heck they're called. Um, he has two accessories. These are rhino stuff here. So that's that's really the bill of accessories. And these are interchangeable hands. We've seen this before in the previous spam and hobgoblin wave. Um, same hands, just um, different paint job. That's all there. Two open hands, uh, two web shooting hands, and two closed fists. All right, guys. So let's just see the figure. Uh. All right. So let's see. Ah. Uh, okay. All right. All right. All right. Okay. So for the most part, it looks painted cleanly, painted really well. Uh, that's what I see so far. Um, eyes look really nice. I like the big eyes. That's really nice. Reminiscent of um, McFarlane. Not quite. It's as if they could just add lights to this head and make it a McFarlane Spider-Man, couldn't they? There has, bro. They won't. Um, so like I said, it's a new upper torso. It has great movement right off the bat, but sculpted really well. Uh, the the spider is painted all the way through. says, excellent job. Same thing in the back. Yeah. The back looks really nice, you know, you can line up really well. Excellent job. It looks naturalistic, you know, like when you close fold, naturalistic, very nice. Um, this is slight soft rubber, but nothing too soft, you know. So the hood there works really well, that's fine. Um, this gauntlet's, yes, yeah, separate piece, most likely just glued on. You know, not too much glue, so you can pull it off manually, trust me, guys, this all has real works. Um... Yeah, and these things are just, I don't know what hell these are for in the, in the comics. You got me, man. I can't remember. So that's done really well there. And, uh, and we've seen this before. So the lower body is basically the same as the previous um, Spider-Man figure. If it's the same, that means it lacks lip. It lacks leg articulation. See, so you can't Spider-Man, you know. This is sad for Spider-Man, you know. This is like less than 45 degrees, you know what I mean? That's... It's pathetic. Hasbro just didn't care. They knew the problem was there. They knew people didn't like it. They just didn't care. Um, hmm. Well, the, the belt. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, these little wrinkles in the clothes. Um, hmm. I wish they didn't scup them in there. But it works fine, you know. It still looks natural. On camera, it looks worse than it is, you know. It still looks natural when you do this. That's fine. So that's it for the scalp work. Uh, that's it for the paint job. It's just molded in red plastic. That's all it is, you know, it's molded in red plastic. Go figure, huh? Um, yeah, no paint detail. I see no paint washes. Um, the blue looks nice. It picks up the natural shadows, so that 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 works okay. Because it's, it's more raised and recessed, so it has natural shadows coming there. So let's get straight to the figure. It looks up really far. It's on a ball disjoint. That works really well. Spider-Man looks down really far. Left, right. Let's see any head tilt. Has a nice head tilt. What you looking at, sucker? So that's excellent job there. Full 360 around arm. It goes out that far. More than decent. Uh, Spider-Man should be a little bit more, but I uh, can't knock it. Up arm rotation, double jointed elbow, really nice. That's really, really excellent elbow. Wow, that's excellent, excellent design. I can't remember if that was the other spam I had that, but that's excellent design. I mean, that's basically you can fold it back up, you know what I mean? That's excellent job there. Uh, the wrist goes around and it has a hinge, that's fine. 
Uh, as you know, you know the police things out, you know, just don't embarrass me. There we go. So all this, so it's the wrist has a little hinge that's all this, so it plugs in like that. So that's fine. Uh, both sides the same thing. App crunch. Uh, mm, could crunch a little farther far, but it's doable. Back really nicely. Excellent job back. Uh, waist rotation. Leg kicks out uh, really good forward. Uh, decently back to the side. You know that there's a disaster there. Upper thigh rotation. Double joint knee again. Excellent, excellent job there with a the double knee. And no quote with quaff the boot swivel um the ankle oh geez that's really stuck man i'm gonna break these things okay so the ankle goes up that far really far goes down really far ankle swivels there again i enjoy my little boot slash thigh cut sorry boot slash calf cut i enjoy that stuff so i hate that it's not there for especially for spider man you know spider man needs an extra posability you know on the bright side, it does look, a, it does look nice and clean. On the downside, it is necessary, I feel, for a Spam Man figure. Um, well, the big disappointment really is the legs, once again. Uh, has really not care to correct the issue this time again. Um, they really needed to. All in all, it's a really nice figure. I highly recommend it. It's a 9. I'll knock that point off, really, for uh, the last canter. Splitting a Spam Man, damn it. So when you try to do poses, <clears throat> this is a problem. Are you trying to do poses? And then you try to do an ankle twist. See the the ankle ankle no longer makes contact with the ground. So if it had a um a calf cut or boot cut there, you can twist the leg and make it uh hit the ground, you know. So that's why having an ankle and slash boot cut is important. So I'll rate this a nine excellent figure. You can't go wrong even with the shortcomings, excellent sculpt work at upper torso. Uh, the gauntlets are nice, the belt's nice, what the heck, these pouches are nice. Excellent job, guys, okay? Nine for me. Take care, peace, I'm out of here. Must buy.